Hi, my name is Felix Lipov and I'm the lead software engineer at Enerative. Welcome to another episode of Enter TV. Today we're going to talk about a concept that has been slowly gaining traction in the real estate industry, specifically digital twins. So first question is, what is a digital twin? So it's a virtual replica of a physical asset. It's set up to represent the structure and behavior of say a piece of equipment or a building. Um, so why should we care? If you have a portfolio of buildings, different ages, sizes, uses, geographic locations, it can be very challenging to stay on top of the nature of your buildings, what's in them, what's running, how they're running, if they're running effectively. And digital twins can help you solve and manage that more effectively. So how do we get here? How is it currently being applied? So one is manufacturing. Manufacturing, for instance, when you build that next generation jet engine or you're building a new wind turbine, you need to evaluate it under various different types of circumstances, different conditions, etc., in a cost-effective manner. Digital Twins enables that. So what's needed to actually create a digital twin? Two things. One is visualization. You need to see the asset. And that can be done through, say, a BIM model um, that helps you understand how a building is set up, structure, etc., so everyone's on the same page. Great. Um, it could be through a 3D scan, through a point cloud, allowing you to understand a space in utter detail. Or it could be as simple as photographs of the space and all the major pieces of equipment, say, of your buildings. Number two is data. So what form can that take? It could be static information, nameplate, model numbers, etc., years, uh, runtime information, historical. Or um, it could be, given the Internet of Things, it could be real-time sensor data. So what does that enable? What kind of solution does that look like? So let's go back to the scenario. There's a portfolio. There's a number of buildings. You have a problem with one of these buildings. Pump number four on the eighth floor has gone down. Now, it could be a message saying, hey, operate on the ground. Please go and service this. But you don't have context. And imagine the chief engineer is managing multiple buildings across multiple states, multiple locations. How can the chief engineer most effectively aid the guy on the ground? Remember, this guy can't be in two places at one time. So by having the digital twin, you can see the actual device that's having the issue. You can actually get information about it, say using the real-time data, get fault detection, use documentation, analytics, set up the work order. And using that context, all of a sudden now, the engineer on the ground who may or may not know that building very well can be enabled and put in touch with other individuals who can now aid and support uh, dealing, rectifying, and supporting problem resolution, which ultimately helps to streamline and optimize operations in your building. In summary, the combination of imaging technology and the Internet of Things now lets us leverage digital twins beyond just manufacturing and initial construction, but in managing and maintaining existing operations and commercial real estate portfolios, in turn unlocking new potential sources of value creation. Again, my name is Felix. I'm from Enerative. This has been another episode of Enerative TV. Thank you very much. See you next time.